Hi everyone, Bob Black with you with Spider TV, RichmondSpiders.com. Thanks for tuning in. We're getting set to introduce another of the Spider Men's basketball freshmen who you will see during the course of the 2019 20 season. And that's Gabe Arizon who joins us from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now to the Richmond Spiders. Gabe, welcome. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you for having me. Now, you are a walk on coming into this program. Take us a little bit through the process of how you chose to come to Richmond and what the Spider coaches have told you about your role will be on this team. Um, so, to start off, Mark McGonagall, Coach McGonagall, was the first coach to reach out to me through a connection I have, Greg Robbins, who played here a few oh, yeah. years back. Mm -hmm. And ever since the second he first reached out to me, he formed a personal connection. And the first time I was, I was on campus, I fell in love with it and I knew I wanted to come here. Uh, tell us a little bit about, beyond that, why Richmond from a basketball standpoint and then also an academic standpoint? Well, from an academic standpoint to start, it's such a storied school, mm -hmm. it's such a great reputation, and I knew that it was something I wanted to be a part of. And from a basketball standpoint, on my first visit, I came, watched the practice, saw the intensity, saw the passion these guys have for it, and I knew I wanted to be a part of that. Now, as I mentioned, you're from Philadelphia, so you had the opportunity, I guess, to come see us play mm -hmm. in person a couple times last year, isn't that right? Yes, I went to the LaSalle and St. Joe's game. What did you see there from game experience that maybe was different than what you saw when you saw Spider practice? Uh, the style of offense was really mm -hmm. intriguing and interesting to me because it doesn't matter if you're the fastest guy on the court, you're going to find ways to get open and like the methodical pace of the Princeton offense. What do you think your role will um, be with this team? I'm going to just help the team every way I can, whether that be in practice, pushing the guys, making make, make sure they're ready for the next game. So that could be defending them as hard as I can, playing scout team offense as hard as I can, just making sure they're ready. Uh, very small freshman class, uh, mm -hmm. Tyler Burton, who we have a feature on as well on Spider TV, mm -hmm. and you make up the freshman class. Mm -hmm. How are you finding your way around campus? How is the basketball practice? Uh, it's a little bit unusual for there to be just two first year guys. Yeah, around campus, well the first day was a little rough. We got <laughs> Tyler and I got lost on the way to Robbins. Happens to everybody. But uh, ever since then it's been pretty smooth. I found my way. The older guys have been helping me out. And with practice, it's been it's been different. I've never had practices with just two players. So there's a lot of focus on the players, but I love that because the coaches, they give you attention and they tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing. Hey, uh, let me finish up on the Philly theme and then we'll get off of that because I'm one of the Philly guys too, as, as we were talking about. Was there a thought process that you wanted to stay at home and, and maybe play somewhere there? There's so many Philadelphia area schools. No, I, I didn't want to stay that close to home. I just never wanted to be that close. I don't know why, that was just my thought. <laughs> good to get away. Yeah, spread your Spread your wings. This is a good distance. Yes, uh, it is. And uh -huh. your family obviously would have the opportunity to come down here and we get up there a lot. So let's transition into the family. You're certainly from a basketball family. Your dad played. Uh, close to here at William and Mary and then in Philadelphia at LaSalle and of course your grandfather's an NBA uh, Hall of Famer. How much influence um, does the family have on you on basketball? Um, they do a great job. They don't pressure me into doing anything. They just encourage me to do what I love which is play basketball. I have a brother for instance who doesn't play basketball and they support him in whatever he does. But I mean grow up in, growing up in such a basketball family you don't feel a pressure to play, but you, it's just always around you, and it's just an overlying, underlying theme in the family. What are the stories like that, that, that you might be able to share with us a little bit in an abridged version right now uh, from, from at home? I mean, is there a lot of basketball talk going on? Uh, there is a lot of basketball <laughs> talk, whether it be we always get in fights over the ar like arguments over NBA games or college <laughs> games because we just can't agree on anything, my whole family, about basketball. Now, you had a really good high school career, and then you were captain of a high school team. What, tell us a little bit about what your game is like. Um, I'm a 3 and D type of player. I'll knock down shots. I, I pride myself in defense and obviously rebounding as well. I'll do really anything that the team needs me to do, and that's what I pride myself in. A uh, three-point shot? Yes. All right, so now how are you adjusting to the new college three-point line, which has moved back this year? Um, surprisingly, very smoothly. I, mm. thought, I thought it would take more of an adjustment, but I feel really good out there. How are you getting along with uh, the rest of the guys so far? This has always been a pretty tight-knit family in the locker room, on the road, in the classroom setting, in the D-Hall. How's that going for you? Awesome. They're taking me under their wing. Doesn't matter that I'm a walk-on. They're treating me the same way as they treat anyone else. They're looking out for me. It's awesome. What are your expectations for this team moving forward for this year now that you're uh, here and part of it? We got a great group. We got a great group of young guys. I think we could definitely make a tournament push, and that's what I'm hoping to do. All right, we're hoping to. Thanks, Gabe. Appreciate Thank you for it. having me.